Welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge, day 65. Let's get going on this one as well. Didn't get 20,000 last, um, not last week, yesterday, but we can try for it today. Let's see how we go. Whoa. Is this a weird camera angle or are those very, very thick lines on the road? I feel like it might have, I, hmm. I can't tell. Just those lines feel particularly thick. Oh, I think we're in Norway. I was doing some practice on my, um, what are they called? Scandinavian countries. And Sweden has really short dash lines on the outside of the road. But these are long, and I think that means Norway. And a lot of what I'm seeing agrees with that. I feel like this could be Norway. Although, no, that disagrees entirely. We're in France. So ignore what I said. We're in France. Maybe the d long dash lines thing only applies once you've actually worked out you're in Scandinavia. Like, it differentiates between Scandinavian countries, but not all of Europe. Okay, I'm just going to shoot down this road till we find a sign that says uh, something more important than that. I think that's saying there's like radar guided um, speed cameras here. If anyone remembers my video yesterday, uh, we had a really good round on the border of France and Belgium. And I managed to search the border of France and Spain for a still, for a solid minute before realizing I was in the wrong country. So. Still getting over that, but that's alright. Come on, there's got to be something here. Also, those long dash lines have become short dash lines. Oh, they're long again. I wonder what determines what thickness or length of dashed line you have when in France. Like, I'm sure there's some very complicated system they use to work it out. That's a cool truck. I like all these modern trucks. Um, still haven't seen a useful road sign. Come on, or is this going to be radar guided shit again? The Tour de Udon. Hmm. I am. I'm not going to find it, am I? There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Although I've really run out of time to actually do something with it. The A11 heading east. A13 there. A1, A4, A A19. A11. Uh, screw it, put it in the middle of A11. Nah, the A11's long. And I, sh I maybe should have put us close to the coast because it seemed coastal because of that, like, Picture of a castle in the water. Oh, still not a too bad a score for France. It's a big country, and only finding that information right at the end wasn't helpful. Um, this is so Asian. Vietnam? This has to be Vietnam, right? Or could it be Indonesia? Something something dot my gov dot my Malaysia Really Malaysia? I thought they spoke English in Malaysia. No they don't. I'm thinking of the Philippines. Ignore me. Malaysia it is. Okay, uh we're looking for road E8. Oh hell yeah, we're on fire. Um, nearing road 3, there's road 3, and 124, so all of those are there, but road 3 is also the other direction, which is heading north to south, which means we're on road 3. We're somewhere on road 3. Where's the ocean? That means the ocean should be to the east, which is... That looks like a road to the ocean. Okay. Okay, so, P1, 
Pekan Kamasik is 16 kilometers to the north. Hmm. It's kind of weird. It seems like all these roads tend to run sort of parallel to each other. Although the 124 is not helpful. Where's the next exit? It's like, are we actually at an intersection? Yeah. So what's this road here? That's the turn off to T13, but it also says T13's forwards. I'm so lost by these directions. There's T-127. What? Where's the part where I found myself before? So I guessed there we were actually on the T-6, but we're just in a really weird intersection of like, like look how surrounded by major roads we are here. And we're at that like diverging point of sending us to all of them. Still, like that's way better than I normally do in Malaysia. Malaysia's not an easy country. It's so islandy and spread out that you often really um struggle to find your way around. Does anyone know what Prose Agor set means. Because that name sounds familiar. I swear it's like come up before while doing this. Uh, Gale Montevideo, Uruguay. Really? Is it that easy? On a street called Calais in Montevideo? I mean, I'm putting myself in Montevideo for now because that's too good of a clue to turn down. But it also feels so weird that the city name was on the, um, on a street sign. Now we have a flag here. If I was to spend time looking at that flag, I... Okay, you guys just saw me move to Puerto Rico. I didn't want to say it out loud because in my mind I'm like, it's probably wrong. But I feel like that's a Puerto Rican flag. There's water right there. I can see this being Puerto Rico. Especially with the white center lines. Although, I will say I'm not had much Puerto Rico in GeoGuessr. Really, this is all um, based off my guess on that flag. What my instincts say. And I'm not sure how much I like my instincts for this. Hmm. Here we go. Kalama and Centro Centro. Is, well, where's the, um, the ocean? It's to the north directly, so... We could very easily be in San Juan. Oh, uh, like there-ish? Alternative, we're going to quickly just pop back down to Uruguay. I'm sticking with Puerto Rico. It was Chile. Apparently that was Chile's flag. The ocean was to the north? Did I misread the map? Because that's not north. That's west. Or did I end up there like... Either way. Awful for me. 
Awful. It's another hilly. Gap in my knowledge. That's the flag of Chile. Did I have reason to get confused? Okay, it's got a star on it, and it's got the same colour scheme. But really, I shouldn't have got confused. That's a disappointing round. Okay, we shall get over it, and we shall recover. Are we in... Ah, we're in Puerto Rico again. Because of that, you know that amazing Puerto Rico flag. Santonio... Santiago, not Santonio, is to the south. Yep, I knew that. We're in Chile, the north. Um, the X of Salterinia, Salteria and Alme Almania. I feel like we're much further north than Santiago, even though it says Santiago on that side. We're going to hopefully find a sign that... I don't know what we're going to find. That was a pretty helpful sign. Actually, no. What's the other direction could help as well? I think that just means you can pull over an emergency. But I think either of those are place names. Oh, that might be a place name. No, nope, pull over an emergency. Fin restriction. I think that means no overtaking. Chile has some very deserty roads. That just go on and on and on. Is this like one major road that goes through all of Chile's deserts? Probably not. Probably wouldn't be big enough. There's a lot of trucks in this road. It's probably quite busy. Busy for such a rural road. No overtaking. Hmm. Blurred out. Okay, let's zoom in. Which road makes sense? There's Santiago. Are we near the ocean? Maybe? I'm not going to say we are. I'm going to put myself there. It was, I, you know, I said it was further north. I should have trusted myself and kept going north. Because it's northern Chile that's really deserty. But, I mean, it looks like all of that stretch is very deserty. Ooh, a nice Europe round to round off the day. Her Halling. Oh, per plantain. Uh oh, where are we? Are we near the Netherlands? Some of these vehicles have double yellow number plates like the Netherlands, but some of them don't. They've moved shops, they've moved 50 meters down the road. Could we be in Luxembourg? Or are we just in, like, Belgium near a border? I've had rounds before, and I think it's common, especially around those countries, where the border between the two countries is literally in the middle of the town. That just says .com. Okay. 
around this area here. I'm going to start by putting myself there in Strapani. Volca Wessels. NL. That's a car from the Netherlands. Wickenweg 1. Does Wickenweg mean kilometers? No, I think it's where we are. And because I think we're on the border, I'm going to search the border. For Wickenweg. Yeah, I think I've been in here before. In this chaotic mess of borders and enclaves. That word looked like Wiccan Wig to me. From a distance. I mean, we're definitely looking at the right part of the world for something to be called Wiccan Wig. Westrop. No, couldn't find it. Could be in Luxembourg. No, no, because that, that truck said... Um, what did that truck say? We were in there again! Does it say Wicked Wig anywhere? What was Wiccan Wag? Ah! We were in that weird mix of enclaves again. That is a shame. Oh well. Um, let's see how everyone else did. Who do we have? We have 8 up to compare to. Who beat me? But not by as much as I'd expect 8 up to. Oh, I think I just got very lucky finding that road number. Yeah, he found another road number three over there. But I got lucky that I read that E8 straight away. That's probably the only one that he got really badly hurt on. Is that round two? Yeah, it was. Uh, better guess in Chile from that one for him. Much better guess than me going to Puerto Rico for no reason. Much closer on France. Good job. And he actually got the Enclave in the Netherlands. Was there another round? Nope, that was it. Okay, thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and uh, comment below how you guys did. Other than that, I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye.